Welcome, this is item number 22 in the release spring 2014 test items for Tennessee TCAP math for 7th grade. Uh, the question says, at 11 p.m. the temperature in a town was 25 degrees Fahrenheit, which is below freezing. This is a cold night. Uh, the temperature in town changed at constant rate until 6 a.m. the next morning when the temperature was negative 10 Fahrenheit, also cold, extremely. Uh, which integer best represents the temperature change per hour in degrees Fahrenheit in this town. Now, I've had students in the past and what they would likely do in this situation is go, oh, 11 minus 6 gives me 5 and then something about 25 and 10 and they would just multiply the numbers together. But if you take like 5 seconds to write down just a few things, this question is really not that hard. It seems like it is because who would give this question first off? But at least it's closely closer connected to reality than some of the other ones. So just give them, you know, the benefit of the doubt. What I'm going to do is write the times down from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. Now, 11 p.m. is a nighttime thing, so 11 p.m. And I'm just going to go up by hours. And the reason I'm going to do that is because they want to know per hour. So why don't I just count up? The next one would be midnight. So midnight. And then 1 a.m. That's a lot of M. Uh, 2 a.m. 3 a.m. 4. 5. And 6. Now I'm going to count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So if you did some weird thing where you did 11 minus 6, so you get 5. But the real answer is 7. Anytime you see the word per, generally it's referring to if you need to take a number and break it down, it's a division. If it's saying you're doing this at this rate and then how you're going to do it that number of times, it's multiply. So in this case, they want to know what the change per hour is, so we're going to divide by 7. All we need to do now is find the temperature change. And you could do it by groups of 5 if you want, just to get a feel for it. You'll notice it's going down. I mean, the easy thing to do is just do 25 minus negative 10, and you'll get 35. But if you can't see it that way, what you could always do is just group it into little groups. So 25, 5 less would be 20, 15, 10, 5, 0, negative 5, negative 10. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Ta -da. So all I need to do is 35, and it's going down, by the way. So that's negative 35. Over 7. And you get negative 5 right there. So it's not really as difficult as it would seem. So uh, uh, I should say, but it is difficult if you just try to do it out of your head and you just see some numbers and you're like, well, I'm just going to mix some things up. Just think for a second, like, what's it really asking me about? It's asking about a huge drop in temperature. So it wants to know what's the change per hour. Well, if it started here and it got to here, these two are already out. So 7 and 5, you're just guessing at this point. And then you just add a little more thought to it. Well, okay, so doing it over 7 hours, that might be where you get this minus 7 thing. But uh, it shouldn't be because it's this change of temperature. This is kind of a lot. Just find out how many hours you need, figure out what the change in temperature is. And if you have to do it by 5s, you have to do it by 1s. Whatever you have to do, it's worth it to get the answer correct. Because, I mean, why you're already having to take this test, and it's probably half a miserable experience. So you should do those as well as you can on it, as opposed to just, well, let me get this over with, and blah, 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 and it'll hurt my grade later on and do all this other stuff. Well, I don't even care about that. Well, you, maybe not, but the reality is that people made you sit through this test because they think that you'll never figure it out. They're like, oh, we'll get them. The only way you can really defeat them is to do well on it, because if you don't do well on it, you just kind of you know, blow it off and don't score well, they win. And they'll keep giving these kind of tests over and over and over again. So the rest of your life, when you have a, a school life anyway, you'll be given the same type of test as opposed to maybe one day they'll realize that these tests are ridiculous and do something else. But they won't as long as you keep missing them because you're not trying or you're not giving it your best effort or you're making careless mistakes. It matters to you, not just to other people. Uh, so do your best to prove them wrong.